Students, I want to remind you that this is a university. We are not going to spoon feed you. Now, let us turn to the first chapter. Uh, immediately go to chapter two. You'll read the first chapter by yourself. Now, chapter two, you have to focus <laughs> on page, um, all the pages. Okay, you're going to read the rest of chapter two. And then chapter three, four, we're going to skip it because you did that in high school. Chapter five, um, it's not really difficult. So, you'll do it by yourself. You can form groups if you want. And then chapter seven is the most important one, which I will not touch on because I want to test your intelligence. You guys are university students. You should know this stuff. Now, let's go straight to chapter ten. Uh, chapter 10 speaks about the Romans and how they died. Why aren't you writing notes? You you want to die like the Romans? You better start writing notes, okay? Now, on tomorrow's semester test, we're going to focus particularly on chapter 17, okay? Now, that chapter covers everything that we would have done today, which is obviously chapter 1 up to chapter 59. Chapter 50, chapter 60 to 67 are not important. Students, I want to remind you that this is... My name is Professor Smith, and I want to welcome the new ones to your first day of university. The rest of you already know me. You've been in my class for a number of years now. Yeah. It's clear that you enjoy my class so much that you have to repeat it year and after year. Please skip chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and chapter 20. You've done those in high school, so I will not, touch you. I will not be touching on them. Chapter 1 to chapter 6, you will do them by yourself. They're very simple. So we're going to go straight to chapter 40. Now, chapter 40 deals with huh. basic calculus calculations, all right? <laughs> you must understand that calculus is a philosophy of mathematics, all right? That is exactly why I have divided you all into five, into groups of five. And each, each and every group will have to discuss exactly what chapter 40 up to 45 means. And I will not be interfering with your study. I will be focusing on chapter 50 because this is a university, not high school. We are not going to spoon feed you here, all right? You're going to have to learn to learn by yourself. And if you're curious why you pay all the money you pay, well, I don't know. I didn't bring you here. I never said, come here. I'm just working. I'm trying to feed my family. You do what you got to do. I do what I do best, all right? <laughs> now, we are writing an exam, by the way. But before we do so, <laughs> let me just tell you that the scope of the exam is based on a textbook that will only be released next month. <laughs> so you must preempt exactly what will be in the textbook because you are a university student. You are supposed to be able to think in a futuristic, in a preemptive <laughs> manner. All right? Now, take out your pen. We are writing the exam. I'm going to need you to write me a 25-page essay. Tell me exactly what was the shoe size of Jesus. Oh. Was he left-handed or right-handed? Don't ask me why I'm asking those questions. I understand this is mathematics, but also comment <laughs> about the climatic conditions back in the days. Was it global warming? Or was it agricultural <laughs> irrigation? Time is up. Please put your pants down. Put your pants down. <laughs> Normal exam rules apply. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I'll see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Laura... Please collect the scripts. Thank you. When you look at the genius during the exam.
You are handsome, Lord. You are dream, Jesus. Oh, the dream is too much. I cannot handle it. You got the race. You are the Lord. You are powerful. You are the broken lesson of the heavens. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, activate spirit. Jesus, I feel your presence. Oh, darling, I see. Seventy till we're seventy. I can sing for you, Jesus. Ooh, I love it when you call me, Signorita. Jesus, you are great, gracious. Oh, if you had an opportunity one time, would you take it? Oh, his palms are sweaty. Oh, son of a Morning, brethren. Pastor Joseph with a D. Last night I went to hell and I killed the devil. Yeah. Grabbed his neck and I killed the son of a. <laughs> Almost said the B word. But then I remembered that the devil was once a child of God and I ain't about to call God the B word. I ain't crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I killed that honey bastard. <laughs> and when I say honey, I mean honey because it <laughs> had some horns. Now the type of honey that some of you might probably be thinking about. <laughs> I grabbed his neck and I held on to it until he screamed. <laughs> he screamed until he screamed. <laughs> when he could not scream anymore, he started screaming. <laughs> Anyways, while well, I may have killed him, some little demons remain in hell. Unfortunately, on my way back here from hell, I ran out of fuel. Now, I need a little financial assistance from you. <laughs> To get me back there to get fuel, to get back to hell so I can kill the rest of the demons and rid the earth of all evil. Now, if you look on the screen, there is an account number that I want you to consider putting money into it so that we can set the wealth. Sir, where you go? Morning, brethren. Last night I went to heaven and I took a selfie with Jesus. Now, many of you may be wondering, how is the Son of God looking lately? Yeah. He told me that he's very worried that many of you, when you think about him, you think about a scrawny, bloody, dying man on the cross. Y'all don't know anything. Yeah. Y'all don't know shit. Jesus, he's the gym, like a real OG. He don't miss no gym day. He don't miss no leg day. He looking ripped as hell. Yeah. I mean, as heaven. He looking <laughs> ripped as hell. The bicep popping like he is a gladiator. I'm telling you right now, the people that killed Jesus wouldn't dare come near him right now. Oh, and he's dripping, he's dripping his hair. Heaven. Thank you, pardon. Now, I'm selling this selfie for a thousand US dollars. In the picture, you will not see Jesus because you cannot see the Holy Spirit with naked eyes, but he is there. <laughs> if you believe in your heart of hearts that he is there, you can see him. You can, you just, hallelujah. Last <laughs> night, I went to heaven. Many students will agree with me that the university only starts like it's about to become paradise, the best place and part of your life smelling like sweet roses. And then of course, it bends over and shows you it's behind. And it says, kiss my ass. While you're still kissing the ass, it proves to you that snakes actually can legs and they can run and that fish can fly. So now you spend every single day of your student life questioning your intelligence, asking yourself, what happened to me? I used to be smart. I was the top in high school. Now I can barely survive. I'm trying to qualify for a damn exam. Yeah. Well, my dear, welcome to university. That's what happens here. Yeah. You're not alone. This is a place that embraces a bunch of very intelligent, stupid people. Or perhaps stupid, intelligent people. Yeah. Whatever the case is, just know that you're going to fail at some point and you're going to feel left behind. Now, I got a question. Who wants to quit university? Yeah. That's what I thought. Morning, students. Professor Smith here. Last night, I had a dream about Marjorie. For those that don't know, Marjorie is my ex-wife who died a week after cheering on me with yeah. another man. Now, I ain't saying that the children is related to the death, but she cheered and she died, and as we speak, she ain't got no life. Zero life, she's dead. Right? Got her ass knocked off by a truck moving at the speed of light. Anyways, in the dream, she was with another man. Yo. I just can't ask about something. 
what is the point of death if she's still going cheat, even in heaven or <laughs> hell or whatever the hell she went to? I am so disappointed in the heavenly or hell system of running things. I ain't happy with it. Jesus, if you were listening to me, I ain't happy. Why is my ex cheating wife with another ghost man walking around looking all happy? I need somebody to give me Jesus' email address. I gotta talk to him right now. It's very deep. It's emergency. It's personal. It's, it's, I don't, we gotta talk right now. Okay? That's not why we're here today. <coughs> In today's chapter, we gotta focus. And the bitch held his hand. <laughs> what, what, why die if you still go find no, what? We need a revolution in heaven. <laughs> I got a gun here. I might, I might as well take myself there to deal with a situation by myself. Because <laughs> clearly, there are a lot of people that ain't doing their jobs right. If he, if she's in hell, then she ain't bending it up. And if she's in heaven, we got to talk about the whole requirements of getting into heaven. How did she make <laughs> That exam you are preparing for is already prepared for you. Yo. The one you are trying to get ready for is already ready for you. The question is, who going to kick whose ass? <laughs> are you going to kick the exam's ass, which I highly doubt? Yes. Or is the exam going to kick your ass, which is the likelihood in the situation? And let me tell you why. These exams are sent by old men and women with midlife crisis. I'm talking divorces. Marriages that are not working. Children that are not listening at home bills and they sent them question papers and listen all that anger on you so you better start praying to god today and say god have mercy on me because you're going to need god more than anything else in the coming exams all right but anyways i wish you the best in your examinations and the best men or whatever win that exam you jesus called me last night and he <laughs> said to me that was not an earthquake <laughs> currently there is a construction work going on in heaven yeah. he said they are currently renovating heaven <laughs> hashtag renovate heaven <laughs> and he said furthermore <laughs> my brother tell my children that we are running out of resources in reconstructing and renovating the heavens <laughs> so tell them to donate some money for us to renovate heaven <laughs> hashtag Renovate heaven. <laughs> that is why we've placed, placed several boxes within this church for you to throw in as much money as you can. And we got some <laughs> machines to tap your car. Jesus don't discriminate. And the payment <laughs> method is welcome. Please do the most. All right? But of course, some of you need a little motivation. So I brought a gun too to ensure a speedy process of getting the money <laughs> to renovate heaven. Because we're not about to have hell looking better than heaven when you're out here. Sir, where, where's he going? Somebody get Jesus, wait guys, so like, are, are we still expected to, to like write exams, even after the, the earthquake? Um, like, that shocks me, you know, I mean, why are South African educational institutions so insensitive, bro? <laughs> like, we literally have just been through the most right now, we are not okay. Why can't you all just cancel the exams and we get together and hug each other and just talk about it, bro, like, we are traumatized right now. You know how it feels to see the earth jiggle and wiggle? <laughs> like you see yourself shaking and you know that it ain't you. It's the whole... Bruh. I just feel like they're not even like taking our emotional state into account. <laughs> Why am I still writing next to Monday, bruh? Can't you cancel it? It's not we talk as a country. It's hard, bruh. I'm still shaking in my head. Morning students, Professor Smith here. A month ago, I was a laughing stock after my ex-wife cheated on me. Marjorie. Well, last night I received a call that she died. Yeah. Yep. Apparently the very same legs that she opened for that broke man with yeah. whom she cheated on me. She used them legs and she was trying to cross the road. <laughs> and a bus, moving at the speed of light, went kaboom on her ass. And that was it. Kaboom! Full stop to her life. 
<coughs> that was it. Funny how she couldn't cheat death. Yo. I thought she was an expert in this shit <laughs> business, huh? Marjorie. I thought you was an expert. Oh, uh. sorry, you did. You cannot hear me. Mm. Anyways, I'm not trying to be too personal before you ride. What I'm saying is, if anything or anybody cheats in today's test, I'm gonna take it very personally. <laughs> I'm gonna take it very personally and you go feel my rest. Yeah. So please don't test me. Yeah. Right? By the way, I have a party tonight and you are all invited. We are celebrating. Um we just celebrating, you know, it's a good day to be alive. You may start writing. Um stop writing, start writing. Yeah. You know Everybody's getting free bucks. How about it? I grew up with Jesus. <laughs> we was best friends. Mm. Inseparable, <clears throat> like a nail and a finger. <laughs> and last night he called me. He said, "My brother, we are having power cuts in heaven. Oh. Ain't no electricity. It's dark <laughs> as hell. Can you please talk to my children <laughs> to donate money for me to buy a generator, an iPhone, a MacBook, and a car? Because trust me, moving around with them camels in heaven mm. ain't no child's play. Plus, I died for the people." And I was like, fear not, man of God, for my congregation is generous. So if you look at the screen, there's an account number that I'm going to need you to withdraw all the money you got in your account, yeah. all your savings account, your children's education, let us save for the Lord. And he said he wants a car. At I grew up with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Oh!